Hello there! My name is Shannon and welcome to my channel Emo Vegan. Today's recipe is going to be buffalo cauliflower wings. I feel like this is something that has really gone mainstream the last one or two years. Like restaurants serve it now and whatnot. It's like someone just figured out how to make cauliflower not taste terrible and it just caught like wildfire. Which is amazing because I don't really like cauliflower normally, but once you make cauliflower wing style, it is pretty darn good. As always, these ingredients are vegan slash plant-based. Um, this recipe can be made gluten-free if you use gluten-free breadcrumbs and gluten-free flour. If you are a gluten-free friend, I'm sure you know where to find those items, so you can modify this recipe to your liking. I know that there are tons of cauliflower wing recipes out there, and I'm sure they are all absolutely delicious, but I prefer to use this one in particular because I feel like it is the easiest. What I like about this recipe is the sauce goes on last, so if you're not feeling buffalo cauliflower wings, you can turn them into barbecue cauliflower wings or whatever flavored cauliflower wings you are feeling in that moment. But I personally believe that the buffalo style cauliflower wings are the best, so those are the ones I'm going to be making today. All right, let's get cooking. That was so corny. I don't let me do that again. All right, so here's a quick little preview of all of the ingredients that I will be using for this. Here is the recipe, so feel free to pause or take a picture of that. So first preheat your oven to 350 degrees, then cut the cauliflower into small floret pieces. I hope it's pronounced floret. Is it floret? I don't really know. You know what I mean. Make sure your cauliflower is clean. I wanted to break mine into smaller pieces, so if you want to do that, go for it. All right, so now we can add our breadcrumbs to a bowl and then set that aside. In another bowl, add your flour, garlic powder, paprika, nutritional yeast if you're making buffalo wings, and a dash of salt and pepper. Mix the dry ingredients. Then add the non-dairy milk and water and then mix again. I noticed that the flour gets a little bit clumpy, so I would recommend using a whisk to get those chunks out and make the batter smooth. I'm gonna put some non-stick spray on my baking sheet. All right, so time to dip the cauliflower in the batter. Make sure to shake off the excess batter and then roll it in the breadcrumbs. And then place on the baking sheet. Obviously do this for all of the cauliflower and then bake it for 25 minutes. And while you're waiting for that to cook, you can just grab a large bowl and your sauce of choice and have that ready to go. And then you get to relax for 25 minutes. So here is just a dumb brief montage of me hanging out with my cat outside on my porch. So when your timer goes off, remove the cauliflower from the oven. Your cauliflower should look similar to this. It should definitely be crispy, so if it's not, cook it for a few more minutes. And then put all of the cauliflower into that large bowl. And then add a cup of your sauce of choice to the cauliflower. And then mix the cauliflower with the sauce gently. You want to make sure to be gentle or else you might knock some of the breading off of the cauliflower and then place the cauliflower back onto the baking sheet. I recommend using tongs, it's just easier that way. And then bake again for another 25 minutes. And then after that 25 minutes is up, remove the cauliflower from the oven and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Alright, so there we have it. Pretty easy buffalo cauliflower wings. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy everything that I'm doing on this channel because I'm trying and I don't know really what I'm doing and I'm trying to do as much as I can before quarantine is over and I go back to work in two weeks. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and 
I will see you next time. Take care.